Hello guys, it's Megan and today I'm going to be talking about carbohydrates and carb counting. So when I think of carbs or carb counting I look at food packagings or sauces of some sort. But today what I'm going to be going over is obviously this sauce, the tomato sauce. It's from Centra, the um, little mini shop. And this one is a packet sauce that you make and I'm going to look at the differences between these a packet sauce and a sauce already made up in a tube then I'm going to look at a packet of crisps they're a small bag so there's not much carbs in it and then a pack of sweets they're the little rollos that you get and I'm going to separate carbs with them then I'm going to say if you have a fruit or something how would you know how many carbs is in it so basically I'm going to start off with the sauces so this tomato ketchup it's yes it's half gone but if from what I use I wouldn't even use that much but per 100 gram which in weight is this this it's 490 grams in weight the whole tub but 100 grams of it would only be 30.7 there's this list here and carbohydrates is there and underneath it'll say um, of which sugars that are in it. I don't think it will come up properly, but it says 30.7 grams in 100 grams of carbs. And you'll see carbohydrates, protein, energy, fat, and everything on the back of everything you cook or like sauce, you squirt on top of your food or something. So with the packet sauce, you're always adding to the mixture of this you're not adding anything to the tomato sauce because it's already been made up for you and ergo you'll have most likely extra sugars extra carbs you'll probably have extra bits of protein in it even though protein could be low in it and stuff but for the packets this is white sauce that you'd have on top of like like on the front of this it has pasta you'd have on top of pasta like for cabanara or you could have it on top of a cooked ham and potatoes but for this it's telling me there's a 25 grams of weight in this so there isn't that much in it so it tells me that 100 grams of what you get normally if it was like a big tub of the powder that's in this it's saying that it's 10 grams of carbs like on every other packaging you'll see the list and then you look at the carbs carbs and of which sugars and per 100 grams is only 10 grams so with this after you make it it'll be 100 grams when you add you add 300 mils of milk to this and with milk as well you'll have carbohydrates in that so that's how when you calculate it all together it'll equal so many Sometimes you could go and look at the package of this and it says 10 grams with the milk but it could actually be 15 because 300 grams of milk, if 100 grams is only 5 grams and 300 grams is 15, no, 100 grams is 100 grams in weight of milk so you'd have a small glass and there'd be about that much in it, that's 100 mils, there's 5 grams of carbs in that 100 mils. In 200 there's 10 and in 300 there's 15 so yeah in 300 mils that you're adding to it there's 15 grams of carbs so like it says here with the powder it's only 10 grams it's really it could be 20 grams with the powder but I'd go with the 15 because it's more milk than the powder in it but yeah so then proportion obviously you won't have the whole 100 grams of the sauce there'd be four other people maybe have to deal it out across so it may only be it may only be like five grams is what you're getting but it looks like a lot of sauce so moving on from the sauces i'm going to go on to the packet of crisps now these are from a multi-pack of crisps so that's where they're small and if you go into a shop and you buy a packet of hunky dories you're going to see it's bigger and you look at the carbs and it's 25 grams of carbs for the whole bag this is only an 18 gram bag and on the back it's telling me the carbs are 9.5 in the bag so I rounded up to 10 grams because 
when diabetics are count counting, they don't do 9.5, they do 100 grams so that they're not getting 75.5 or 2 or anything like that in case it's like 13.3 or 7 or something. So it's on the top here and your carbs are here and then you go over and it'll tell you 9.5 in this one because the line that's right beside the, the name is 100 grams and then it's the pear bag which is 18 grams in this. The chocolate which is next are the Rolos so they're, there's not much in the bag but because they're open that's what you're getting out of it. That's the Rolo and this was 126 grams in weight when we first got it but for 100 gram of this bag so you that's 100 grams in weight 26 grams in weight is not accounted for of this but in 100 grams of it there's 65.7 so you'll say 66 grams carbs and per five sweets you get 17 grams of 0.1 but because there's caramel in a caramel it's a slow releasing releasing carbohydrate so you put 20 down R really i put 20 down because it's slow releasing and chocolate as well it's slow so that you won't go low you'll go you won't go low as quick as well at the same time um yeah so with carb counting as well say if i was having chips and tomato sauce and sausages or something sausages it depends what sausages you get so if you got denny sausages there sometimes there could be carbs in it if they're the big pork um the jumbo pork sausages but some of the others don't but with chips i i always have the homemade chips that fr made from the potato like you know cut up the potato and have fry them up and everything so two potatoes is one potato is 20 grams so two is 40 is how i see it and i always have 40 grams of chips which is the two potatoes and then that's 40 grams in carbs Plus, I'd say 10 grams of weight of this, which would I would put down, well, 10 grams of carbs even of tomato sauce. So that's 25 grams in weight nearly. And the sausages, it depends on sausages, but I usually get some of the times the butcher sausages that have carbs, so I put down five grams for two sausages which is what I typically have so that's 40 grams of chips plus the 10 grams of tomato sauce is 50 grams plus five grams for two sausages that's 55 grams of carbs then you'd do all the carb counting that's it done you figure out how many how much insulin you're taking if you're still on pounds but if you're on the pump that'll do all that for you and then you'll just take your insulin and you'll be ready to eat your food so thanks guys for watching Bye.